Good morning, dear students. Welcome to Maths class. Today, we are going to start with subtraction. Subtraction means take away. The meaning of subtraction is take away. In the previous class, yeah, in the previous chapter, we have learnt addition. In addition, what we did? We added the number. But in the case of subtraction, we are taking away number, we are taking away things. Again, I am telling you the meaning of subtraction is subtraction means take away. So, I will show you some example for you. I have some decoration pieces. I have some decoration pieces in my hand. Here, what do that I have? Six pieces are there. How many are there? Six are there. So, one more thing. You notice this decoration pieces are in the shape of a cone. So, my friend asked me two pieces for me. She doesn't have any pieces, this decoration pieces. So she, she asked me two. So I'm willing to give. So two are taken away from me. So from this six, two are gone. Now how many are left with me? One, two, three, and four. From six, two are gone. So answer is four. So six minus 2 is 4. Now, another example for you. Have you played carom many times? If you played that, then you know what is in my hand. You know what is in my hand? These are the carom coins. I have here 2, 4, 6 and 8 coins are there. How many are there? 8 coins. And my friend again asked me, Three coins from me. How many? Three. So I am ready to give. How many I am giving? Three. One, two and three. Three are taken away from me. So now how many are left out with me? One, two, three, four, five. From eight, three are taken away. So our answer is five. So this is the way. How to take out things, you are taking away things, you are numbers. So 8 minus 3, answer is 5. 6 minus 2, answer is 4. So now we will start with subtraction sum. First, when you are doing your work in your fair copy, first write the heading. Underneath that red line is there, the next line you write subtraction, then underline your heading. Then again leave one line empty. Then come towards the margin side. Margin side also one square should be empty. And the next square you will write T. T means tens. In the next square you will write O. O means ones. Tens and ones. We are doing two digit numbers. So my number is 85 minus. We left one square empty near the margin. There we are going to put the subtraction sign. And this is the sign for subtraction. Minus sign. Where the empty square, there you are putting the subtraction sign. And the next number is 63. Then what you have to do? What, what you have to do now? Draw a line. Draw a line. Now, when you are doing subtraction, always start from the one side. Start from the one side. When you are doing subtraction, again, one more thing. The bigger number should be written on top and the smaller number should be written down. In this case, you can do subtraction directly. You don't have to borrow from here and there. Borrowing we will do in the next class. Okay. So first we will do simple subtraction. You don't have to borrow. Directly you can do subtraction. So the first number we have written 5 minus 3. So we will count on our finger. We will take 5 numbers. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Keep your finger over there. Stop it. From this 5, we have to cut down 3. Where we stop, from there we will start. How many? 
three numbers we have to cut down. So one, two, three. Now how many are left out now? One and two. So five minus three answer is two. Otherwise, we can do one more bit from three. You have to count four when you reach five. Then you have to stop it. So three, the next number is four, five. How many are here? Two numbers are there. Here also we got two. In this way also we got two. So whichever way you find it better, you can do that way. So our answer is five minus three. Answer is two. Now we are coming towards the ten side. The first number, eight. Second number is six. From eight, we have to take out yeah, cut down six numbers. Again, we will count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So keep your finger there. From this eight, we have to cut down how many? Six. So we will start from here. One, two, three, four, five, six. So keep your finger again here. Now how many are left out? One and two. So 8 minus 6 is, answer is 2. Then underline your answer. Now, from 6, if you are counting forward up to 6, 8. How many will get? 6, the next number is 7, 8. So this way also you can do. Other way also, the first way I showed you, that also you can do. Whichever way you find it better, do that way. So only one thing, do practice at home. Okay, boys? So in the next class, we will see and we will do more sums. Thank you, boys.